and welcome aboard Carnival Cruises' magnificent ocean liner, Luminosa. I'm so excited because this is my first ever cruise. So without further ado, let's get this party started. Every Carnival Cruise starts with a sail away party, a dance fest on the deck to say so long, nine to five, and hello, holiday of a lifetime. New to Carnival's fleet, Luminosa is based in Brisbane until April. From there, she'll sail to exotic spots like the Great Barrier Reef with Sundays and the South Pacific. But this glamorous ship is a destination in itself. Luminosa's heart is the atrium. Ten decks high, topped by glass ceiling, these big beautiful shimmering chandeliers. And down here on these lower decks with these beautiful lights on the wall, we've got a bar, restaurant, lounge, dance floor and one very, very chilled out passenger, which is me. Coming a close second is this laid back lady. I'll let the cruise director do the introductions. Now, Son, you're a good looking man, but I want to talk about this beautiful woman on my oh, left hand side. Dry ledge. She's <laughs> lovely, isn't she? Tell me so, all about her. So she, uh, we call her Donna. Yeah. Um, I think over the years, I think she was commissioned by a gentleman called Fernando Botero. Yeah. Uh, famous Colombian artist. And of course, for good luck, uh, to keeping crew members and guests safe, um, they give her a little pat on the, um, you know, Tempting, but hey, I already feel lucky. We get to stay on board for seven days and six cruisy nights. This is nice. Fancy. It's big. Back's delivered. I like that. Look at this. King size bed. I don't even have one of these in my place. Oh, that. Oh. Oh. This is a point of difference with Luminosa. Two thirds of the cabins have one of these a private balcony. Sunset at sea. Sorted. Sunset is a top time to get to know your fellow passengers. Meet Mark and Leanne, the poster couple for cruising. Well, the worlds collide. First ever cruise, and you've done how many? 150 today. 150 today? 150 today, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, what is it about cruising that, that you love? Because you truly love it. We do. We just like meeting people, we enjoy being at sea. I don't know, I think every time we go to sea, we just don't want to go home. So, you know, we, we get to the end of a cruise, whether it's seven days, 28 days or 49 days, and we just want to stay on. OK, cruisers, let's talk food. From big breakfast to late night bevies, this is a voyage of delicious discovery. Ooh. Most meals are included, but there are premium dining experiences you just can't miss. This is the top shelf option on the ship, and of course it's located on the top deck. Welcome to Fahrenheit 555. This is their version of the surf and turf. We've got a lobster tail with a filet mignon. What? What? Yum. No need to worry about the waistline. With the gym, sports and swimming pools to keep you cruise fit. Rather relax. Well then float on in to cloud nine. Luminos' day spa is the biggest in the fleet. Oh, this is lovely. I just feel the tension, my muscles just dripping away. I'm in a room 38 degrees and this porcelain chair is heated up. Just nice. <laughs> While mum and dad chill out, the kids will have a cracking time. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. Cool encounters with Dr. Zeus characters are exclusive to Carnival Cruises. Yes! Oh, that was a big moment. They say never meet your heroes, but he was so cool. And there's plenty to amuse the grown-ups too. Think an ocean of onboard entertainment, from piano bars to theatre spectaculars that put Vegas shows to shame. Even the crew are born entertainers. Take it away, team. Have a blast and hit the high seas with Carnival. For all the info, head to sydneyweekender.com.au.